if you haven't dealt with your flesh and mastered yourself, he gave him not money, he gave him not a crown. Why did you shout? Everybody knows him. That's people know about him. There are most of our ladies, the reason why they give it to all kinds of foolish people, they are under pressure. The productivity of every marriage is in agreement. Agreement is the most powerful force that will exist between two people who really want to build something together. God does not just jump into marriage to start helping. He jump into the things you have agreed on. The ones you have not agreed on, nothing will ever happen around it. That is why marriages that there are a lot of secrets, many things collapse at the end of the day. The man is doing this, he's hiding it from the woman. The woman is doing that, he's hiding it from the man. This is how the whole building begins to collapse. Because God works with agreement. I'm telling you this key. Do everything possible to agree with your partner. Don't be in your husband's home and be agreeing with your mother. Don't be in your husband's home and be agreeing with your pastor. If you think whatever your pastor is teaching you is right, find a way to convince your husband. But it's so dangerous to live with somebody you don't agree with. Anything you do without the agreement of your partner, you will struggle to finish it. God came down to look over the city and the tower those people had built. God took one look and said, one people, one language. Why? This is only one step. No telling what they will come with the next. They will stop at nothing. When they began to build, God was up there. Didn't care. Until the Bible says at a point in time, God came and came to see what these people are building. And the Bible said, God took one look. Just one. Then he said, one people, one language. This is the secret to building. The secret to building is not money. The secret to building is one people, one language. And look at what God said. Why? This is only the first step. That means wherever they are built to, this is the first step. No telling what they will come up with. That means united people are unlimited. People who have agreed. People who stay together. And that is the secret. The man will leave his father and mother. Will cleave to his wife. The two shall be one. They will start agreeing. No wonder God finished cursing them. They both walk away. They are one. We agree. Look, look at the verse 7. Come. We will go down. And gobble their speech. So they won't understand each other. Then God scattered them from there all over the world and they had to quit building the city. You will quit marrying if there is no agreement. You will quit taking care of the children if there is no agreement. You will quit building businesses together if there is no agreement. You will quit building houses there is, if there is no agreement. Wherever there is no agreement, a couple is going nowhere. So when you look into the relationship and you realize that you don't have any common ground of agreement, run away. If you have made a mistake to marry the person, then begin to pray. He scattered their language. So God knew what he was going to do was stop them. But he still did it. The devil was seated in hell. He saw. Ah, so this is the way to stop any two people. That is why the greatest attack on every church is division. The greatest attack on every group is division. The day you marry, watch out for this demon. Every day, watch through the window. The demon of disagreement. He comes to halt everything. Any couple that does not agree, wake up in the morning, in the evening, and does not agree, is going nowhere. They will only be running around. At the end of the day, they will come back empty. Are you going to start a business? Sit down and agree with your wife. Are you going to start school? Sit down. Who say school? I say, Obua fuukuno. Me sume ko school enya masters. Enya masters ya ena abehuno. School nube faili sa na diwe. Unti ashe da. Why you learn but fail? It is the power of agreement. Anything that is not on the platform of agreement, God does not show up. How good and pleasant it is that brethren dwell together in unity. It is like the oil. The anointing loves the atmosphere of unity. In the day of Pentecost, they were all in one accord. And then a rushing mighty wind 
enter and settled on them the holy ghost waited until they were in one accord it is in agreement that god shows up no relationship will ever see some divine manifestations until the foolish in the relationship learn how to come on board and agree the highest manifestation of foolishness is to disagree for no reason there are some people who have titled themselves me so of the two years the better as you progress to be delayed two years so the question that you have to ask if you are not married today when you meet someone you have to marry the question you have to ask is that what language do we speak in common if you don't share any language in common sir run away for your life ministry don't go and ask the prophet is it of god is it of that don't come to me is it of god where there is no agreement god is not there to even come and ask when two agree on anything as touching the head my father that means if there is no agreement forget about my father he won't show up anything fighting the agreement between you and your partner we arrest that force in the name of jesus